What do you make of uh, CBS Jason Lock and Forrest saying that Seattle had gotten you know calls for uh, possible you know uh, trade talks with you? Do you believe that that uh, Seattle has gotten calls? Yeah, I definitely believe they've gotten calls for sure. I think, I think that uh, you know, I think anytime you're um, you know you know uh, a player that you know tries to produce every week and has done it for you know consistently, I think people are going to call for sure, and I think. It's part of the process. Yeah, but you're a franchise quarterback. You're a Hall of Fame quarterback. You're not available, are you? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm available or not. That's a that's a Seahawks <laughs> question. But I think also, I think more than anything else is, um, you know, I think at the end of the day, you you want to win. You know, you play this game every day to wake up to win. You play this game, you know, to to be the best in the world. You know, I you know what I hate? I hate sitting there watching other guys play <laughs> the game. I'm gonna tell you, Michael. It just keeps happening. Like every week, our resident political scientists and political analysts become the sports talking head because these stories, I keep thinking of you. Every time something happens, Jason, I'm like, wow, wonder what Jason thinks of this. You're making I mean, news. Hey, bro, I'm going to just start with this. You make news. Hey, bro, you Jason good? Jason Johnson. You good? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 are, you, are you concerned? This is exactly what I wanted to hear. I'm so proud of Russ. You know, like they say, real G's move in silence, right? He's usually quiet. He's just, but he's putting this out there. He's putting this is like, this is, this is, it's like when D Wade was talking about playing with LeBron, it's like sometimes the relationship gets a little stale. You got to spice things up. This is, this is, you've been with your partner for a long time. And one day they come home and was like, you know who hit on me at the mall today? Um, <laughs> you, know, you know who styles very attractive on the subway? I didn't even know. I just, I just put this on like usual. That I was at the gym. Like, <laughs> he, he's, he's tossing it out there. He's tossing it out there. Oh, I, people are looking for me? Look, little old me? Russell Hall of Fame Wilson, who's been behind this lousy offensive line, who's gotten sacked more times than anybody else in the league in the nine years that I've been in this league? People are looking for me? I can't believe it. He is doing what we have not seen enough quarterbacks do, and certainly not enough black quarterbacks do throughout their career, is Every time Russell Wilson from now on, and I'm proud of him for this, every time Russell Wilson ends the season and he's not in the Super Bowl, he's going to put pressure on the Seahawks. It's the same thing that Aaron Rodgers has done. It's the same thing that Tom Brady has done. These guys look at Tom Brady's 43-year-old MAGA-loving self win a Super Bowl <laughs> with a team that at no point this season did anyone say was the best in the NFC. He just saw them win a Super Bowl, and he's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What's happening here? What's happening here? So I'm yeah. I'm happy yeah. that Russell's going to yeah. do this. He's not getting traded. But I do think this is putting a fire under the seat of Pete Carroll and John Snyder and Walden, the new offensive coordinator. The best offseason possible. You said he's not getting traded. Are you sure that he's not getting I, traded? Are you, are, are you willing to say that uh, you, you're confident Russell Wilson will be the quarterback of the Seattle Seahawks in 2021? I am 100,000% you can put this with curb your enthusiasm music. Russell Wilson will be the quarterback of the Seattle Seahawks. Old takes exposed can tweet me. Russell Wilson will be the quarterback of the Seattle Seahawks at the beginning of the 2021 season. He has a no trade clause. So he's not going anywhere that he doesn't want to go. I don't think he wants to leave Seattle at all. I think they, I mean, they won the division. They won 12 games. The man doesn't get hurt that often. The rest of the division is basically in disarray. I don't believe in Matt Stafford. Like I said, Matt Stafford. We don't know who's going to be oh, the quarterback oh, of the 49ers, <laughs> right? <laughs> and, and I've already told you that, you know, Kyler Murray is the dollar store version of, of, of Russell Wilson. So he's in a great position. Now you're shading dollar prepared. stores. Now you're shading dollar stores. <laughs> dollar okay. stores. Versus Walmart church's chicken, now dollar, dollar stores, bro. The churches private school, dollar stores. Private school got you all sedated so like that. <laughs> okay, okay, there it is. <laughs> Go ahead, <Yeah>. Michael. <laughs> Go ahead, Michael. Doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doc, Dr. Jason Johnson. Okay, okay. Life's good for you. All right. Listen, and on top of yeah. something else, now, I I'll tell you, Mike Smith and, and Doc Johnson, uh, and Mike knows this. I'm not always great. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm a little late. I, I, I'm not always on Twitter. So I catch up a little bit late. I'm not on it all the time. Okay. But don't you know, Dr. Jason Johnson and Michael Smith. <laughs> Mike, I don't know if you saw this. Jason Johnson trying to do his best Mike Florio slash Adam Schefter saying, you know, 
Sources tell me, my sources, <laughs> that's what he said, Mike. My sources I tell me that. that if Tom Brady had lost the Seattle Super Bowl, he was going to be traded and Jimmy Garoppolo's going to take I saw him. that. Like, you yes. going back. I saw that. You digging yes. into your six year old notebook. Yes. Yes. I don't know if that was yeah, in your I book, Michael Holly. <laughs> I, I, I didn't I know that. I will tell you all this. I literally spoke to a very well respected. Uh, sports writer, reporter, journalist that you guys know, best-selling author. We had this conversation in a green room, and he was he was vociferous and prolific in saying, "Had because he, he found out I was a Seahawks fan, so we started having this whole conversation." And he said, "Had the Seahawks? We were talking about dominoes. This is two or three years ago." He's like, "Had the Seahawks won that Super Bowl, Brady was out." He was like, "100 percent." He's like, "I can tell you, he was 100 percent out. They were going to move on to Jimmy Garoppolo." Brady would have not won a Super Bowl for 10 years. If you think about it, that Seahawks win, which really was on the defense of Malcolm Butler, that led him on, you know, a, another, a second career run of winning four more Super Bowls. Yeah. Had he lost to Seattle at that particular yeah. point, Tom Brady is gone from the New England Patriots. And they'd be, at this point, six years into Jimmy Garoppolo and probably three reconstructed needs. So, yeah, that, that, <laughs> well, is, I, that is from an actual, I, an actual source in a green room source back when we used to have green well, rooms. Well... Well, well, we'll allow it. It's from it's it's from another reporter. We'll allow it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. But wait, I do want to I do want to get, get you. I, I, I won't reveal it because it was a green room. But yes, well known. I got you. Well respected. I don't trust. Listen, I don't trust many people's sources, but that's cool. Um, that's that's a good story. We I do want to get your thoughts on the most recent Super Bowl and of course the impeachment trial. But just one more thing on the Seahawks. So you became mm -hmm. a Seahawks fan because of Russell Wilson. Correct. So is it like LeBron fans who just follow LeBron wherever he goes? So they become a Cavs fan and a Lakers fan or they were a Heat fan at one point. So if Russell, let's say he is the quarterback this year and maybe even mm -hmm. next year, but if he leaves, will you follow Russell or will you stay with the Seahawks? Just I just want to kind of get that clarification. I will follow both because as you guys know, and as I've said many times publicly and privately, I root for whichever team has a black coach and a black quarterback. I was an Eagles fan with okay. McNabb and Andy Reid for 14 years. When McNabb left, I was supporting the Vikings. When McNabb left, I was supporting the Washington football team. And I was looking for another team when he left the Eagles. And I was basically decided between Wilson and Kaepernick. And, and, and I decided Russell Wilson. I became a Seahawks fan before they went to their first Super Bowl. So that's, that, was, that was the sort of process. If Russell Wilson were to leave, which I don't believe is going to happen this year, but if Russell Wilson were to leave at some point, I would root for whichever team he went for, and I would still be with the Seahawks because of Jamal Adams, because of DK Metcalf, because of Tyler Lott, because of all those other guys who I support. Even with that's Pete right. Carroll, Jamal Adams. That's theory. right. I was gonna say, yeah, Jamal Adams. Right. Who you 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 probably yeah, signed yeah, a book your, deal, your right? You guys got a book deal <laughs> for Jamal Adams, now, don't you? <laughs> hey, he called. He called the Go Super ahead, Bowl. He, he called it with Todd Bowles. I didn't know that was going to happen. He was right. I was he wrong. He did. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.